Hi guys, it's Narrative Tarot. I'm just here with like a quick um, thing for my car. So, I've been really like just over, just fucking over it. Um, kind of because I could just feel a little bit, not depression, but a little bit of, um, discontent and stuff like that I have to get like real sensual um but a little bit of like growing discontent with like life and where I am and I'm kind of feeling like I need a break from a lot of stuff um I kind of what I think if you were watching the Pisces video I'll link it kind of picking up too much stuff and needing to expel and detox there's a few things I'm going through that will require me to do that. So I'm just kind of like, all right, let's go ahead and do it. I need to clean out my space, um, cleanse like my decks, like all of them. Take a break for some of them. Invest in new ones, learn about it, learn about new stuff. Finally do this fucking book review, book club, where's the camera, book club thing. Like a lot so that's where I am but I was thinking I have a purse and um, I want to get a bigger bag because I feel like I'm using like a like a toad bag for school and stuff like that and then um, like, I'm using the tote bag, and I'm using my purse, and I'm going to school, and I feel like every day I have, like, two, three bags of stuff, and I'm carrying, I feel like I'm carrying, like, so much stuff, and I was just kind of thinking, like, what is it that I need to release? Because, I mean, I carry my purse, but then I carry, like, a tote, so it's kind of like, I carry a tote, then another bag for some other stuff, then another bag, and it's just like, at some point, I need to simplify, and so... Saturn is going through my sixth house and there's some other stuff going on like uh I was telling my friend that I ran like I was looking at people on like Facebook like you know the social media that like millennials and Gen Z's like <laughs> especially Gen Z's probably aren't on I'm a younger millennial. I'm like the last, what <laughs> I'm in the last group of millennials, essentially. Since it ends in 96, I was born in 93. So I'm essentially, I'm one of the younger ones. And people are still on Facebook and stuff like that, but I did a little bit of, let me go on here and see what's going on. I just going through high school stuff. I like ran into somebody from high school, um, recently and I guess Saturn being in the sixth house and linked to your psychological in the 12th kind of like what have I been doing with the last decade of my life like my Saturn return is in Pisces but it's like barely in Pisces so this is essentially kind of my Saturn return so uh Sorry, the guy who like picks the grocery uh, carts, he's like, he not riding them, he was like pushing them very enthused. Um, almost like he was gonna jump on it and like, woo! <laughs> and so that's kind of how I need to be like, woo! Like coasting. And I feel like I'm kind of coming to the realization that like a lot of this stuff in the last 10 years, I'm proud of, but I feel like I didn't take as many risks as I wanted to, that there was some block, and now, I don't want to be so stuck, right, I don't want to be so stuck, I don't want to be so, like, I don't want to be so stuck, oh, that makes it so much better, I don't want to be so stuck, and I don't want to be so, like, to myself keeping all of the stuff that I think in in terms of like uh creative projects and stuff like that like as far as other stuff I don't really care I really need to invest in like off the shoulder stuff because I feel like I like my shoulder 
Um, and plus it's kind of hot, so I'm just like, oh, let you breathe. But I kind of feel like just opening up, letting stuff come out, exploring stuff, exploring myself, even doing stuff like this, like off the shoulder. And plus, like, getting tans, like, all the way evenly <laughs> um, would work out with this. But just kind of evaluating what I've done, what I haven't done, why I haven't done it. Will I do it? Is it even aligned with who I am anymore? So I'm just thinking about that stuff. And so changes are coming um i don't know where the camera is oh it's right here i usually keep it on this side so I'll, i'm always looking here so changes are coming not too much in terms of like content but i am working on getting a new background um i might use my ring light um i probably will start alternating between like you know looking at my face and looking at the table stuff like that i probably need to get a table um I just like all the stuff, like all the, this is Saturn, all the stuff that you have to plan to like, you know, make things happen. It takes effort to make things happen. It takes a concerted effort, plans, just shit like that. Like, and it can be really mind boggling at how like expensive it could be. Or how much time you have to be patient, like ordering stuff, or how much you have to revise things. It just, shit takes time, and I am not patient, and I have got to learn patience. So, in the future, backdra backdrops will be nicer. Um, hopefully, get more content more consistently. It's still going to be Thursday through Sunday. Um... And then, like, when you do, like, the season videos and all the new monthlies and stuff like that, I think I'm going to wait until the end of the month to do them all and to do just do them all in one week instead of spreading them out, like, two weeks. Um, just do two a day for, like, five days or something like that. Um, what else? I want to do more readings. I want to do more discussions about six house stuff. More just thoughts. Um, engagement. Definitely if you are interested in the content, like, like it, comment, engage. Just because it's kind of hard to get a feel of what people are engaged with. Because I know, like, my friend was like, do the content that you want, not what people you think. It's like, yes, but also, like, um, like, let's engage. Like, the whole purpose of this is to kind of engage. It's not just me, like, talking on a soapbox or something like that. So, yeah. Kindly, would you do that? Um, comment, liking, subscribing, the usual. And then, um, another thing is that I probably will be starting the red... I kind of feel like I want to do that by season, so I might not do that as frequently, but it's something that's growing on me to go into just for my own healing, and I think that's kind of what's what the point of this whole video is, <laughs> nine minutes in, basically. That there is some part of my healing process that I have to go through, and it's probably why I'm feeling very despondent, because I'm... After Saturn leaves, you're supposed to feel, like, alive and stuff like that, you know? If you've done the work. To thoroughly, like, you know, cleanse yourself and stuff like that. It's a very hard kind of lesson to learn. Whatever house it's in or lessons to learn. But when you leave, when it leaves, you feel very renewed and very new. Um, and, like, you're coming alive again because you are. You're shaking off all that old stuff. It deals with time and karma and ancestors and, you know, all that shit from the back that can weigh you down. And all the intricacies that weigh you down and kind of separate those who are willing to put in work from those who aren't. So, that is where I am. I am happy. So, I think this is... I've been knowing this for a while, but I think this is the realization that things are going to be changing for me. Um, 
I think things are going to go quite fast now that I've set this and opportunities and things are going to come out to show this. So thank you for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe. If you are going through any changes, weirdness, time warp, time loop, revolutions, resolutions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you later. Oh, we're going to skip to the sleeping book for book club. And then the codependence, I'll just circle back. Bye. <laughs>